Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I am the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider sticking around. If you're returning, welcome back. So family, I love you guys. Hugs. Alright, so today is going to be a uh, pick a pile reading. And I will be using this gorgeous, beautiful new deck that I got. Um, that I literally just filmed a unboxing for um, the illustrations are from Abigail Larson which I talk a little bit more about in that video if you'd like to check it out check her out on Instagram on Twitter um, I love her artwork she also did the popular Nightmare Before Christmas tarot um, this one yeah, so she did the artwork for this deck as well. Of course, the cards that are showing are not any of them with Jack or anything, but yeah, it's a very beautiful deck too. Who knows, maybe, fuck it, maybe I'll use this deck today as well. I'm missing a deck from her called the Dark Wood Tarot. But um, yeah, so... Ooh, I love this deck. I'm super excited to use it. I feel like already so connected with this deck and um, yeah, I'm super excited. It has already, I think, become one of my favorites. One of my favorites, but we'll see. So I did already shuffle it. I shuffled it really good. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse the deck and cleanse the space. I'm just shuffling it a little bit more. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get this and do this. So I just saw some dust or ash flying around. So I hope that everyone is doing well. Again, if you're new, I'm the Apocrypha. I mostly do tarot readings. I also have some fashion content unboxings. Um, different things like that or more fashion content like uh, outfit of the days coordinate bit, uh, shit on my Instagram if you're interested in that I'll go ahead and maybe show my outfit today as well because I know some of you like that <sighs> So just cleansing the stones again. If you are interested in a private reading, I am available. If you are local, I am currently um, posted up in a tattoo shop temporarily, which I'm very grateful. But if you're interested, let me know, hit me up so that we can schedule a reading if you would like so pile number one you will be this beautiful look at all those rainbows this is actually a, a smoky quartz even though it's very clear it has so many rainbows it's so amazing and you could see all these rainbows on both sides of course it might not pick up on camera so much but you can see all of them here isn't it gorgeous so this is pile number one pile number two is this beautiful very clear opalite um i was never really drawn to opalite but with this one i felt very drawn to it it was a very clear one i think it's beautiful opalite and then last but not least we have this here is um, sunstone it does have a lot of rainbows as well a lot of colorful flakes and shimmer shimmers there you can 
transparency. On all sides, it's very shimmery. This piece. So, I know weird arrangement of events, but this is my outfit for any of you that might be interested wearing this little half bonnet. Um, this is my coordinate. I'm not wearing socks right now. That's a problem for later me. But um, yeah, so again, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please choose your selection. Meditate on either pile one, two, or three. Smoky quartz, opalite, or sunstone. I will have timestamps down below uh, for easy access. So let's go ahead and get started with pile number one. So, hello pile number one. If you chose this pile, this will be your reading. <sighs> I love this stone so much. Now, I work somewhere that we sell stones and minerals and things like that and uh, I have been definitely trying to avoid looking through the stones because then I want to hoard everything. Um, but this was one that I was immediately drawn to. Uh, and yeah, so it has the protective qualities. I'm seeing that you may have been wondering or worried or concerned about your protection. Um, but with all these rainbows, I see perhaps you may have been trying to align your chakras. Maybe you have done or you have wanted to consider getting Reiki done um, to unblock your chakras. I'm sorry if I'm very winded. <laughs> oh, breathe, bitch. Okay. I heard the light at the end of the tunnel, but like the light at the end of the rainbow, which I know that doesn't really make sense, but what I'm getting from that is like after the storm, when the sun comes out and you can see the rainbows in the sky, it's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. So perhaps you've been feeling a lot of uh, like heavy energy around you. Let's see. You've been really wanting to protect your energy. Perhaps you've been afraid that there have been... I feel like this is a specific message for somebody. You've been afraid that there's a certain energy attached to a chakra. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. You may be afraid that someone may be doing candle magic against you. I heard curses. We have the Ace of Swords upright. Interesting. I'm not going to pull this bunch here. I feel like somebody here is concerned that um, there's this energy around them that has backstabbed you or is going to backstab you, perhaps trying to keep you closed off interesting so these fell on my lap I'm going to pull this one that was underneath um, but we have the full card in reverse that came after the ace of swords so this is what it looks like upright and then we have the five of cups in reverse under the deck we have the chariot Let's see here. Whew. I feel like you've definitely been trying to avoid dangerous situations or avoid being alone with someone in particular. You may be concerned about your safety around this person. 
whether it is energetically or physically. Some of you have been trying to distance yourself from this person um, or somebody in your life who you feel doesn't see eye to eye with you, who may be trying to, like they feel very two-faced. When they're in front of you, they're happy and they're like, oh yeah, I'm so happy to hear her. Like, good for you, I'm proud of you. But then like deep down inside, like they're wishing for your fall. Um, you sense this and you know this, but at the same time with the smoky quartz here, is saying work on your protection know that you're protected but continue to work on that but also to realize that there's still the rainbow at the end of every storm this full card here is a very interesting depiction because you can see very much she seems like she's walking like she's injured but she's definitely trying to be as fast as she can to survive the situation despite being hunted she's injured you won't be be able to see her face let me see no she looks terrified though some of you may be afraid to move forward in a certain situation because um, this person may have blackmailed you may be watching you you're afraid of the backlash the repercussions the um what's the word uh the backlash mm, there's a specific word uh i can't think of the word but um if this is a work situation or a family dynamic situation or a friend who you used to be really close to and all of a sudden like you feel like they have started to like uh, their energy start to feel negative towards you um, this may be a confirmation for you but with this chariot card in reverse it's saying to move forward and right under that we had this uh, death energy i meant to pull one card but we also have the seven of cups in reverse now this card i'll go ahead and talk about we have the eight of cups in reverse interesting four of cups okay if you've been concerned about something that this person was like if they have gifted you something and you've been wondering if it was cursed or if they did something to it this may be a confirmation to you the chariot is saying to move forward despite what is going on but to defend yourself to stand your ground to know your truth there needs to be trans transformation in your life if you need to cut this person off distance yourself then do so do what you need to do for your safety and the safety of those that you love i heard um dance macabre i think it's called um by ghost maybe there's some kind of lyrics in there for you or maybe you just really like that song or like that band the kiss of death i heard so if this is a partner or somebody who was an ex or something like that maybe you guys were not together but it was like friends with benefits um, you feel like this person may have attached themselves to you. Maybe they've done some soul binding, some spiritual um, work against you to uh, create a contract or a soul tie. Um, this may be a confirmation for you if you have been fearing that or like you feel like this deep pit in your stomach type of intuitive hit that um, they have done something like that that may be a confirmation for you um, you have to really challenge yourself to not be afraid think of all the other things you could be doing with your time and energy 
Are you going to let the fear of what this person has or has not done stop you from following your heart, planning ahead, planting the seeds that you need to, realizing that you have the key within yourself to create transformation in your life? Don't allow this person's energy to hold you back. I heard energy vampire. So with this card I mentioned during the unboxing portion or the unboxing video that I will post before this one, um, I mentioned this card. It's usually like look behind to realize what's behind you. But in this card, this person looks kind of like the original like Nos Nosferatu, um, Dracula type of depiction. And what I'm getting with that here is this fear, like, please don't look behind, don't find me, like, as if somebody's hiding and they hurt, like, this entity, this person hurt something. And then I hear somebody, like, praying, like, so hard, like, please don't see me, don't see me, like, don't find me, like, leave, please. Um, so I get this vibe that you are really afraid of leaving the situation because you feel like things will get worse. I am going to pull from the Nightmare Before Christmas as well. We have the Seven of Candles in reverse. So that's the Seven of Wands in this deck. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Guardedness. You've been afraid to guard yourself around this person because you don't want them to be afraid that they don't have your trust and do something worse is the vibe that I'm getting here. I keep hearing like candle magic. Um, if this person does a lot of candle magic, I feel like you're very afraid of their power and of their ritual practices. Feeling very defensive, like you don't know how to defend yourself in the situation. Like, I feel like some of you are doubting, man, this person was my best friend or they were my lover, whatever. Interesting, there were multiple cards that fell, but justice in reverse um, showed itself. So I feel like you don't want this person to know that you are doubting your friendship because you don't want them to be they might be the type of person that holds grudges and that they do things to people that they lose a friendship with i feel like this is a very like kind of specific message for somebody but you know that there's some injustice like intuitively you know that this person is trying to work against you we have the two of needles in reverse, the two of swords in reverse. You feel indecision on what to do. And I get like a very strong feeling of like fear and doubt. And um, you're not perceiving things in a way that will help you move forward. It's very stuck energy here. Um, and I feel like this is actually, if this person really is doing some candle magic against you, this is a part of their game, that they want you to stay stuck and not able to move forward, not able to work on what it is that you want to work on, whether you're a creative person, they're trying to drain your uh, inspiration. Um, if you are somebody who needs to speak up um, to people I feel like you may be afraid like all of a sudden you're having stage fright when you have faced that before and you worked through it and now like you're standing up in front of a class or whatever the case is and you're feeling like very anxious so the next one we have is the nine of wands in reverse very very guarded energy 
And again, I keep getting like candle magic. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. So in this depiction of the Four of Swords, it is three sewing needles with one across it. So the vibe that I'm getting here is like the Three of Swords with the Ace of Swords going through it. And what I feel from that is like this person may be wishing for you to have um, emotional instability for you to fall apart emotionally and to not follow your heart. This person uh, may be working against you, trying to block your chakras, trying to send you evil eye, trying to um, send you a lot of like negative stale stuck energy. What's under here? We have the Knight of Needles, so this is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. This person is trying to take your power away. They're two-faced. And they're trying to plan against you and work against you. I heard that this person made, like, mention to others about the power of three. Um, maybe they talk about that a little bit, but they don't really believe it or they just don't care. Um, they still would prefer to attack and antagonize or talk shit or gossip or um, backstab people even though they have this belief system of the power of three. Um, so perhaps they believe it or perhaps it was a part of their practice when they began but they start to fall away from that. Um, I heard, don't worry, karma will get them. Don't worry, the energy that they are sending to you, they will experience something whether you want it to happen or not. Like, it's not about you uh, fighting fire with fire, but the universe sees that you don't deserve this and that the universe is uh, your ancestors, your guides, whatever you work with, um, they are working with you. Um, to protect you in this situation against this person but they are saying to distance yourself to follow your intuition to be careful to really watch your back if you really have to change your passwords um i heard change the lock on your door i don't know how close you were to this person if this is somebody who you were with and they had a copy of your key if this is a family member and they had a copy of your key or they know where you hide your spare key um, or things like that, I heard like replace it, change it, move it, um, try everything in your power that any kind of knowledge that this person has to tap into your energy or to kind of like pose as you or to steal your identity in a way, really protect yourself because this person just might. And I feel like that's a very severe message, but I feel like this is very specific for somebody. <sighs> okay, for you, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these here. Manifest. So they are trying to manifest against you, but I heard... Um, just because they're trying to manifest against you doesn't mean that you can't try to manifest um, in your life like better opportunities or like protection or uh, whatever the case may be. Work on your protection. And if an idea comes to you that you haven't thought about in terms of protecting yourself, protecting your energy and sending like uh, finding balance within yourself 
if you have an idea out of nowhere that comes up and you really feel drawn to try it then try it interesting i was shuffling and then we got blossom again so i feel like this is about you um working with your energy healing your energy doing a soul tie like removal energy tie removal if you know exactly who this person is then you can work your own magic to break the ties um is what i'm hearing here this person is trying to um manifest like sun card in reverse ten of pe ten of pentacles in reverse ten of cups in reverse four of wands in reverse um like uh, star card in reverse like they're really trying to hit you in all of the points where it matters like family home career love abundance they're really trying to get you stuck healing begins in reverse and then underneath it says revealed so i think this is the tower card in this deck so if this is your situation something will happen i feel like this person's going to experience some karma don't be afraid it's not you it's um, the energies that work with you that are protecting you and also the energies that work with them that see that they're going down the wrong path are also trying to help you as well because they know you don't deserve what's going on. Um, healing begins in reverse. I feel like this person holds grudges and um, it's very hard for them to be a loving, nurturing, kind person because they don't know how to accept that in their life or maybe they were not raised to understand that it's very different for them but that's never an excuse for somebody to treat somebody else badly Whew, damn okay i feel like that was um a lot but that is the message that i'm getting for you today pile one i hope that this message resonated for you and brought you some clarity into your situation don't forget that you have the power within yourself to protect yourself against this situation and against this person if they're going to use magic against you don't remember you can use magic to defend yourself to protect yourself okay um and then i just saw the king of wands and i mentioned with this king of wands you don't know what's going on is that a person being uh, murdered by them? Are they doing stuff together? Like what's going on? And I feel like that's something that you don't know where you stand with this person. And that's not the kind of energy you would want to surround yourself with. So just really work on um, distancing yourself from that person. Okay if uh this resonates please consider liking sharing subscribing and all that jazz i really appreciate you taking the time to watch and um, i hope that you have the uh, justice that you deserve okay so now we will be moving to pile number two so <sighs> i'm going to go ahead and cleanse again That was very heavy. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the um, opalite stone, this is your pile. 
I feel like there's something that you may not have appreciated um, growing up or in your current your current circumstances something that you're not appreciating maybe it's not what you want or you think that it's I feel like for somebody you feel like it's beneath you or you feel like you deserve better or something but I feel like this um, stone is saying to be grateful and to see the beauty in the circumstances around you to utilize what you have to be grateful for what you have now I'm seeing this solar and lunar energy this yin yang energy there's a need for balance here have you been needing to work with your feminine or masculine side this is a confirmation to do so if you've been trying to awaken like your kundalini you're trying to awaken you're trying to um, move forward in your spiritual uh, journey there's a need to view things from a different perspective to find balance to find alignment Hmm. follow your intuition okay Be careful that your perception of things isn't what's keeping you stuck. So there were some cards that flipped over and then there's some that was about to... This is the sun. Interesting. I mentioned solar and lunar energy. This card. Interesting. Five of cups. I'll leave that on top. But here... So we have the star card no fucking way no way <laughs> damn you guys holy shit I'll get to that okay this is the star card and trust me I did shuffle the fuck out of this deck even though I just got it so this is very very interesting we also have the king of swords so we have the the moon card and the sun card and I literally was just talking about the sun and the moon and the reason why I mentioned the sun and the moon is because when I was looking into the stone I saw the lights reflecting like a, a white light and a yellow light in like O's circles and as I was moving the stone I could see them moving but um, it was giving me a lot of yin yang energy, a lot of need for balance type of energy as well. <sighs> Damn, that was crazy. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Okay. So you have three major arcana already um, just from these four cards. And the only one that is a minor would be the King of Swords, which is a court card anyway. Those of you who have been trying to communicate with a past ancestor, a past loved one, a spirit guide, your higher self, those of you who are trying to connect, there's a need to find balance within your energy, within yourself, and be open and honest with yourself about your situation. viewing things from a perspective of openness and clarity but in order to do that again you have to have balance within the self if you are a tarot reader or you've been wanting to get a reading done then this may be a confirmation for you if you are looking for a tarot reader i am available for readings i just saw 3444 if you're interested um 
but I digress. Um, if you've been wanting to get a specific reading from a different reader, or you've been wanting to read for yourself, or you've been wanting to get a deck so that you can learn to read for yourself, then this is a confirmation for you to do so. be careful what you wish for some of you are moving too fast slow down work from the ground up study get the foundations down you've been wanting to practice a new ritual or um, a new just practice this is saying to be careful Candle magic, tarot, scrying, um, full moon rituals, new moon rituals. If you use your at the may a lot, I feel like this is a confirmation. Hmm. Oof. All right, we have the magician in reverse. We have the empress in reverse. More major arcana down. You've been trying to heal through generational karma. Working through generational or um, ancestral patterns or your own spiritual patterns, your soul's patterns. Make sure that whatever it is that you wish for, that you're taking the action to make it happen. Hmm. You have to be meticulous. Really, whatever it is that you're trying to work on. Hmm. Yeah, to be Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? Um, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you have to make it happen. Okay. I mean, that's obvious, but you have to take the necessary steps in this physical world and energetically um, in order to come into alignment with what it is that you're trying to manifest, but you have to be precise with uh, what it is that you are doing with your time and your energy. Your time and energy should be utilized in a way that's going to benefit you now and in your future. You may be afraid of birthing something new. You may be afraid of... Um, something or someone around you who may be trying to kind of like I heard like energy vampire um, you may be very hard on yourself about some situations that have happened in your past where you were secretive or you um like there's a lot of like a mysterious energy here let's see 
we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the uh, Six of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse. The Six of Wands upright. And the Emperor in reverse. So we have the Empress and we have the Emperor both in reverse. I'm seeing here for some of you, you may be feeling kind of like crazy in a way. Um, because you may be starting to hear things, sense things, see things, smell things more and more. Uh, maybe people call you crazy, people will misunderstand you or misjudge you. Um, but you need to believe in yourself, believe in your gifts, believe in your power and um, realize and recognize what is true and what is false. With the Six of Swords in reverse, I'm getting this feeling that it's difficult for you to move ahead, to plan ahead, to strategize. Um, how you're going to make changes in your life so that you can um, create better habits for yourself but that's the thing is that this extra time and energy that you're putting towards things that are not necessary or that are damaging to you um, you could be planning ahead in a way where you are um, manifesting and consciously putting in the time and effort to make things happen so I'm hearing like work diligently um, I'm getting like a work smarter not harder if you've been doing meditations at night also do some in the morning or during the day and vice versa if you've been doing them during the day also do some at night try to find a balance I heard equilibrium. With this Eight of Swords in reverse card, what I'm getting is that you may be keeping yourself stuck in some kind of way. I heard like self-sabotage. This may be in regards to your happiness, abundance, prosperity, um, family, home, career, something that you're passionate about I feel like you may be keeping yourself very stuck now the six of wands I heard like ask yourself what is it that you want to be recognized for Excuse me, was someone upright? I think it was. The Six of Wands. What do you want to be recognized for? So the message that I'm getting with that is like, if you want to be, like, if you want to work on establishing your own business, then work on establishing your own business. If you want to be seen within a certain community you want to partake in a certain community more you want to put yourself out there more than do so but you have to do that you have to get yourself unstuck you have to really let your heart your heart guide you let your heart and your intuition guide you through the um the struggles interesting again I mentioned earlier about like solar and lunar energy and finding that balance and then again there was both the emperor and the empress and both in reverse so 
definitely the energy from this is about finding that balance within yourself mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, Ace of Potions, Change and Transformation there with the Butterfly. We have the Three of Presents, which is the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. We have the Seven of Presents, which is the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. And we have the Five of Presents, which is the Five of Pentacles. Um, was that one in Reverse too? I believe it was. So it's interesting that all three of these were pentacles, except with this potions card, which again, um, in this depiction, interesting, you also have the, so we have a fire energy in reverse, and we have a water energy upright. This may be in regards to fire water sign, um, feminine masculine energy maybe this is some kind of relationship uh maybe that's being brought up for somebody excuse me i'm so sorry um i feel like whatever the situation is you may be struggling to work together to build stability together and you may feel left out in the cold so there is imbalance here again I feel like as above so below as within so without so the imbalances that you're feeling within yourself you are starting to see the manifestation of that around you with the relationships and the friendships and the things around you I feel like you're trying to again find balance and some stability if you've been wanting to work on your chakras find balance do Reiki consider you've been wanting to meditate more find like different times of days to do in different places that you feel comfortable cleanse your space and yourself i'm going to go ahead and pull from one of these we have shine in reverse follow your heart find balance so we have excuse me maybe you've been struggling to sleep you've been so tired and that's also an imbalance that you've been having in your life it's hard for you to be the alchemist in your life when you don't even have energy to alchemize we have detach number 11 and yesterday i saw 48 48 yesterday was 11 11 um perhaps there's some kind of energy that you worked with letting go on 11 11 or perhaps you've been working with connecting with an energy that you might have to like focus on something else for now excuse me we have challenging times in reverse we have giving and receiving in reverse too so this is six of pentacles energy hmm challenging times in reverse <sighs> the 
detach from the people the places and the things that really do challenge you with no reason the people places and things that don't reciprocate to you that are imbalanced for you people that don't love you the same way that you love them people that don't appreciate you or don't see your light there is a need for transformative energy here to allow yourself to shine through your situation to find that balance I heard astral travel or astral projection work on um, your foundation work on getting the knowledge that you need to um, know how to do that and to do it safely I feel like this one was a little bit more um, a little bit more scattered but I feel again there's this need for balance between your feminine masculine aspects your light and dark and to remember that you have the power within yourself to change your circumstances and to heal through what it is that you need to bring in that balance that you're looking for and that reciprocity but you're going to have to have healthy boundaries with people and um, for the people that are always trying to cause issues in your life, you're going to have to detach from them. Yeah. Learn to let go and let be. What, what, um, kind of like that saying, what comes back is meant for you. Like if you let it go um, and it comes back, then it's meant for you and you'll see like who's really there for you through thick and thin and like who's just saying face or you know whatever the situation is you deserve reciprocity and you need to make sure that you have healthy boundaries in place so that people don't walk all over you and um, take all your energy and get some sleep too <laughs> is definitely a feeling that I'm getting that you need to do so if you've been wanting to astral project and doing stuff like that then this may be a confirmation for you just be careful okay so thank you so much for watching um, this reading I really hope that you enjoyed please consider liking sharing subscribing and all that jazz and um, I hope to see you in the next video, in the next reading. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, pile number two. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. All right. So now let's go ahead and cleanse for pile number three. Last but not least. Alrighty. Hello, pile number three. If you chose pile three, this is your pile, the sunstone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today and for connecting your energy with us. 
so as you can see this um, sunstone has very sparkly shimmers very colorful shimmers and very like white toned shimmers as well it's very beautiful this is the first piece of sunstone that I have I'm getting like party birthday holiday celebration graduation um, promotion I don't know like a moving up or like um, like another phase of your life type of thing but the sunstone I'm getting here that you may be really trying to connect with your um, your happiness I feel like some of you that chose pile number three maybe you're um, you've been told that you should have a career that is more a uh, balanced or like more financially well off but you are wanting to be creative and chase your dreams and follow your passions hmm I've been thirsty but I'm actually going to get some water maybe your water sign or you have a lot of water in your chart, perhaps. <laughs> I'm sorry you could hear that. All right. The sun. Maybe you're masculine watching this, or um, maybe you have a lot of masculine energy, or you've been connecting more to your masculine side, but also I feel like this sense of tapping into your feminine side in terms of like creative pursuits and passions. comes out okay so we have the nine of cups interesting I mentioned about water and the first card that comes up is a water cup a water cup <laughs> a water sign or like a water element <sighs> Don't drink the Kool-Aid, I heard, which is interesting because I mentioned parties. Um, be careful with who's around you when you are in a vulnerable state, like when you are drunk or really tired. Um, when you're in a more vulnerable state, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. All right, so we have the um, Ace of Swords. We have the Tower. We also have the Page of Wands. The Hanged Man. Okay. Some of you may be afraid to view things from a different perspective, to start all over in a situation. Some of you may have experienced some backstabbing. I heard like buried alive, like you feel like whatever situation it was that somebody just kind of left you with um, a lot of grief, a lot of struggle, a lot of like difficulties and challenges we have the ace of pentacles in reverse so definitely i feel like an interesting the ace is aligned um so i feel like 
that is the confirmation you feel like you have not been reciprocated to you've been perhaps backstabbed somebody may have taken something from you even if it's your confidence somebody has really negatively impacted your life maybe you've been in a kind of like hermit -y type of energy you have the wheel of fortune though so it's like despite the energy of like the tower around you you're really trying to dodge a bullet there the hanged man hmm what's underneath Underneath we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. I heard of ratnophobia. I feel like somebody here is afraid of bugs, creepy crawlies, different things like that, spiders. Um centipedes stuff like that or dolls maybe there's a fear of dolls I heard as if somebody said yeah they could just like steal your soul <laughs> okay hmm I feel like for some of you, you may have been really trying to build upon your stability, your finances, your abundance, your, um, like your family home, your life, but maybe struggling to view things from a new perspective that can help align you with this abundance prosperity, happy home, happy life type of situation. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Beyond the veil, look beyond the veil. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles upright. So we had it in reverse. And then we have it upright. have the six of pentacles we have the ten of cups in reverse looking at this ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles is about reciprocity about balance about helping others and it's like each one of these ghosts has a present that they're gifting but in this situation it's like this person has received this doll so what I'm seeing here is that for some of you you may be experiencing imbalances when it comes to reciprocity around you maybe you feel like you're over giving um, and people are not 
reciprocating you may have been feeling a lack of stability in your emotions or in your relationships in your friendships in your family life and your with your partner and then we have the magician and the queen of cups So I feel there's a need to speak your voice, a need to say what's on your mind, and to feel your emotions. A part of the reason why you may be struggling to find emotional um, stability is because you don't feel your emotions. There's a need to transform this energy of disappointment in other people that don't reciprocate and give to yourself give to yourself the love and the nurturing that you need don't be afraid to gift yourself something nice um i feel like you may be the type of person who always gives and gives to others but never really investing in something that you really want for yourself because you feel or you've been raised to believe that would be selfish however that is false it's i heard i heard it's better to give to yourself something that you will love and appreciate and utilize and that could help you in your career or in your business or in whatever it is you're trying to manifest for yourself instead of uh, spending the money or the time to give something to somebody who you know doesn't deserve it um so again with this magician here i feel like there's a lot of energy of family or relationships or like friendships or something some kind of dynamic like that maybe you guys struggle with parental figures Perhaps there's no reciprocity there. You feel like you're overgiving and they just don't understand you or they take you for granted. You've been trying to feel your emotions more and maybe you feel like they've been talking shit about you in that way. Um, maybe you were raised up in that machismo bullshit um, and you're just trying to find like your happiness and your emotional stability and I feel like Keep focusing on the people, the places, and the things that you appreciate and that res um, reciprocate to you. When you are around these people, places, and things, do they make you feel loved? Do you feel understood? Do you feel appreciated? Do you feel like you're being listened to? Um, does this person offer any kind of advice um, I heard something not by the book I heard cleansing banishment ritual I heard full moons or like working with lunar energy hmm I heard goddess Hecate so I don't know if you've been wanting to connect with Hecate for working more with developing your magical abilities, your spiritual practices, with moving away from like what doesn't serve you anymore. Underneath we have the page of presence. So I feel like this is this, um, this desire to try something new to move forward in some kind of endeavor share the love so it's like a little dust particle thing we have coming together this is the two of cups so definitely here if you've been wanting to connect more with someone in particular or you really appreciate somebody then consider giving them a gift 
um, of something that they would really like or that they've kind of like asked you for something it would be nice to show that you care in that way um, if you're not usually the type to give gifts I think that this person would appreciate interesting you see balance would appreciate to see you um, thinking kind of outside the box in order to spice things up a little bit we have balance here so this may be in regards to a connection but also about breaking cycles in your life with people places and things around you that again don't reciprocate that keep you stuck that make you feel like you're always constantly confused or struggling to move forward in your life realize that um you can keep playing the same cycles in your life over and over or you can heal things and move forward if you have been wanting a specific gift or wanting something um, don't be afraid to ask is the energy that I'm getting dedicated effort work on your passions I saw 1 11 14 but um, work on your passions work on these cycles in your life that you feel are keeping you stuck or that you're struggling with and have that dedicated effort to strive to move forward If you are concerned about people around you being false, really follow your intuition and follow your heart on how you really feel about somebody. If you've been feeling like you need to kind of walk away from somebody in your life, then consider doing so. Really ask yourself why. Is it because they make you feel a certain way? Is it because they don't understand you? And really, if you want to make something work, then you have to communicate with each other and figure out how to find balance. And again, like reciprocity, I feel like is a big thing um, in your reading here. But uh, you need to speak your mind. You need to speak your truth. Don't expect people to understand what it is that you want or what it is that you need unless you're able to convey that to them because people can't read minds <laughs> as much as it would be kind of cool to do so um, that's not the case so definitely with the magician card here work on uh, releasing the cycles work on taking your power back from situations of your past and um, of your present and don't allow people to like walk all over you or take you for granted or like not appreciate you but you have to again express how you feel so that people can understand where you're coming from so that they can be more patient with your situation um, if need be so um, that is what I'm seeing for you today thank you so much for uh, staying tuned and for joining in this reading I hope that it brought some clarity and perspective into your situation. If it did, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, all that jazz. It really does help. I'm very grateful to everyone's support. Um, even if it's just a like, it really does help this channel and this whole family grow. So thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys soon. I think that I will probably be doing another reading with this deck. Um, very soon so stay tuned for that and if you'd like to see an unboxing of it then that video will be posted before this one so stay tuned for that as well thank you guys so much i hope to see you in the next video if you are local and you'd like a tarot reading then please feel free to contact me i am available and i am currently um doing face-to-face -face readings at a shop that I am temporarily located in so if you're interested stay tuned um, check out my Instagram for more information on that and everything I love you guys I hope to see you in the next video whatever that may be and take care 
have a lovely day and i hope to see you again thank you so much bye